So, tell us a little about yourself. Oh, uh, well, that's a, such a broad question. Um, I am a teacher. I've been teaching for over 20 years. Um, and I've had the privilege of teaching in schools that are all over the country, from California to Chicago to Virginia to Maryland, um, in colleges and in high schools and in middle schools. I love teaching. Um, I have my son is seven, and my lovely, lovely stepdaughter is 12, and my husband, and we live in Snow Hill, Maryland. A few years ago, I had the honor of being selected to work in a doctoral program when I was working in Wicomico County, and I worked at Parkside High School. Um, at that time, there were 25 people on the Lower Eastern Shore, and um, from five counties, and I had the distinct honor of meeting um, Ms. Wallace, and uh, we became, you know, colleagues through our work in our doctoral program, and when there was a retirement at Pocomoke High School, she um, asked if I was interested in interviewing for the position, and I was very happy to do that, and I'm so glad I made that decision to um, come to Pocomoke High School. We have heard that you have recently have attained your doctorate. Tell us a little about the journey and the hard work that goes into achieving a doctorate. Let's see. For some reason, the quote from um, a band that I sort of love listening to, which is Grateful Dead, what a long, strange trip it's been. It's crazy. It was four years of almost four years of work and a very, very complicated amount of academic um, endeavors from weekend classes that went on from Friday night, Saturday, Sundays, uh, like 24 hours of class that lasted two years uh, to a full year of writing, um, research in the field where I interviewed principals, which was part of my research process, and, um, and then rewriting and writing and rewriting. And it's a very challenging process. You have to be very committed and very dedicated and um, not feel criticized when numerous professors are telling you what to do and what not to do because if you give up you never make it to the end um, but I set my goals high and I was really happy to be able to teach full-time and be a mom full-time and um, finish my doctorate full-time so it was it was quite an accomplishment for me. How has your previous education led you to this moment? I think that I have always considered myself um, excited about learning. I always love that first day of school feeling, um, buying new pencils and notebooks and papers and preparing for that first day. And I have always felt that enthusiasm for learning. So continuing to learn myself and work on um, a bachelor's degree that was in English and a master's degree in education and a lot of English work and special education work and then my doctorate in leadership. I think that it was a progression that was natural and an expectation that I always had in my life. So now that I feel that I've accomplished that higher level of education, I feel even more prepared to impart my knowledge upon my students that I see every day. What advice would you give to someone who plans on achieving their doctorate? Stay focused. Be determined to work very hard every day because if you slack off um, and are not able to commit yourself fully to working on your doctoral research, it, it's nearly impossible to accomplish. It was the most difficult journey I've ever taken educationally because the level of commitment was ten times the amount of anything I had done in the past. However, because I practice what I preach, I worked very hard to attain this. And I think that anybody else that takes this endeavor on, you have to realize that is it a major commitment. Um, and if you want to finish, because literally only probably 15 to 20 percent of students who start actually finish, you have to realize that you have to fight the odds. And the only way to fight the odds are to be the strongest and the hardest worker and, you know, and say to yourself, I'm not going to give up. <laughs> I believe in myself because it's a long, long journey. Now that you have achieved your doctorate, what is your next goal? 
Well, I have all this time on my hands that I would love to actually read some new novels that I haven't been able to catch up on. So in the interim of my next goal, I think my goal would be to focus on publishing some parts of my dissertation. Um, it's important to, when you're a research writer in education, to take pieces of what you've done and send it out into the educational world because I have done so much work in the field of improvisational leadership, I want to contribute to that arena of um, academic. So that's definitely my next goal, to try to put out a few pieces that will be published um, and to look forward to presenting at a few conferences um, in the upcoming future. Where do you see yourself in the future? I always see myself somewhere in a school, in a classroom, working with students and with teachers because it's just who I am. I'm not exactly sure where my road will take me. Sometimes it's a surprise, but I know that I am very happy now um, in Worcester County and I don't make, I have no plans on leaving the county or leaving where I live because it's a community that I want to raise my children in and myself I want to stay around here and teach these kids because I've invested my time and my energy into being here and that's I'll be somewhere around here in the next 15, 20 years.